I've got nothing to do with that. <laughs> we just put these on, just and it looks better, you know, it looks better. And we've taken the legs off, just so you don't get too squeamish, all right? Because normally there's two short legs on this side, and two longer legs on that side, so they can run around hills, like that. What a load of rubbish. I'm just making this up. It's not an animal, it's not an animal. Now, the Scots eat this all over the world. There's actually uh, dinner parties, we'll call them, but they're called Burns Nights. Why? It's the poet Robert Burns' birthday, the 25th of January. And we all eat haggis, and it's lovely. And Robert Burns wrote this address to the haggis. It goes something like this. Now, this is an abbreviated version, because it goes on and on. And you wouldn't understand the words, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't understand the words, but no reason. This is an abbreviated version. Fair for your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race. I bid them all you tack your place, pain stripe or theorem. And will are you worthy of a grace, as long as my harem. Oh, your groaning trenches there you fill, your hurdies, it's your hurdies. Life a distance still, <laughs> your pin would help to mend the mill in time on it. And through your pores, the Jews distill, like amber bead. His knife, <laughs> oh labour rustic dight, and cut you up. It's no alive. <laughs> <laughs> and cut you up is <laughs> very slight. <laughs> Tension your gushing entrails bright like on a ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight. Warm, reeking. <laughs> Lovely. Rich. Ah, you powers will make mankind your peer. And distribute their bill of fare. Old Scotland wants these stinking wear that jouts and luggies. But if you wish a grateful prayer, then gear a haggis. You'll be outstanding, ladies and gentlemen. We shall toast the haggis. <laughs> <laughs>